<laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm going to have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Ngannou is four years the elder. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! <clears throat> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the challenger, Iceman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with 
round one, and all eyes are on the submission magician. Shades of Damian Maya, of course, he has won the majority of his recent fights by way of submission and a number of different methods of victory to boot. So now fighting a guy with legitimate Brazilian jiu-jitsu defense, we'll see if he can find a way to secure a submission and propel his career to the next level. as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. The Predator gets caught with that punch. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice job on the counter there. And this is really a tried and true counter striker who will try to use the over-aggressiveness of his opponents against them, and that's exactly what he did there to great effect. Big kick. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. Right. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Frost's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, eats a knee. Marty closes the disc. Oh, nice trip to change the level. And he's back up. Another punch position. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Back mount now. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Isaac Frost. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, huge block! Beautiful strike. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Trying to set up that counterattack. Beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Just unable to quite find that range. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big kick lands. Pop, pop, pop.
All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha, he loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. The book on him coming in was that he... All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. The book on him coming in was as one of the more precise counter-strikers in this division, and he certainly had his game going there in the previous oh, round. He is absolutely one of the best counter-strikers we've ever seen, and you saw that with some of those counter-strikes that he landed early and often. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ross' lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Nice punch by Francis Ngannou. Just missing on the high kick there. Some nice back and forth action here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, so Francis Ngannou pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jab. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, fight behind a jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for the knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. Oh, nice jab. Cross gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Unable to land with that punch. Nice jab to the head there by Ngannou. And there's that patented jab, well landed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Sneaky head kick. Well, nice job there to use his opponent's offense against him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Wow. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. And he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, can't do that in soccer, but it's allowed here. Nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, great foot sweep right there. Got to the clinch, started manipulating the body, and the moment his opponent took a misstep, boom, tripped him right over the top. Great job. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC, so for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal, because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get into side control. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, stack guard here. The feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do is just extend his legs. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build into him. Attack the feet with your hands, head and chest back, lead with your hips, pass the feet, drive your knee forward, try to get the side control. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Gets inside here and lands the elbow. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Francis Ngannou. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Nice hammer fist. 
Oh, man, hammer fist again by Frost. And Ganu gets pounded here on the ground, the elbow doing most of the damage there. Oh, it's certainly been a weapon of choice for him tonight. Another elbow landed there by Isaac Frost. The Predator gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. Oh, doing some serious damage with those elbows. I think the cut man's getting anxious there in the corner. The cut man better get his stuff together <laughs> because he's going to have some work to do in between rounds. He is slicing him apart with those elbows. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, you. where's my Telestrator, man? Uh -huh. I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the opposite. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels awful. Good. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out Velasquez. Put out Los Santos. And he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all the all these punches and combinations really dictate the pace to his opponent. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Francis Ngannou. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop <laughs> Miss with that jab attempt there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And Ganu gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Ngannou. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Frost. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Oh, big punch land. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Misses with the right hand. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking the shot. Nice punch by Francis Ngannou. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice combination of strikes there by Ngannou. Pretty good straight punch there by Isaac Frost. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Got clipped with the right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. And there comes the separation now. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Counters with a left punch. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. How good is that right hand? Nice loop and punch really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, what a head kick. Head 
kick there blocked by Ngannou. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he does it. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. How about those five minutes? minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. And authority goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up, he throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. Oh, strong elbow there from top position. Elbow's landing now. Oh, now the other eye is starting to swell. So insult to injuries. Both of his eyes starting to swell pretty badly now. And there's the elbow from the top by Frost. The Predator gets touched, and once again, it's that elbow. That has been there all night. Defense has got to be better. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Continues to mix it up beautifully here on the feet. Another big elbow landed there by Frost Joe. So back to the well with the elbows now, and he's landing them in bunches. So his opponent better figure some solutions out here and in short order. He better keep those hands high, or he's going to be all sliced up like a lot of the guys that fight so Slicing and dicing, looking good with these elbows tonight, champ. He looks like a Michelin star chef trying to slice and dice in the kitchen the way he's tearing his opponent up. Oh, this is some good ground and pound here as he lands the elbow up top. It's the elbow there. The Predator gets cracked by another elbow, and you see the corner is not happy here. He's got to find a way to do a better job defensively. Ground and pound, big weapon for him here tonight. There's the elbow from the top by Frost. Ganu gets touched by another elbow. He's got to be really careful here. Oh, get the cut man ready. Huge elbows raining down here. We could get a finish. The here. referee is getting closer and closer. He is going to stop this fight. Well, you wonder how many more elbows this fighter can take. The ground and pound is on point tonight. And now back to the elbows by Isaac Frost. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. And Ganu getting absolutely starched by these elbows on the ground. Oh, elbows landing in bunches. Now you got to cover up. Elbow to the head there by Frost. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cut's been opened up, but got to think at some point there's going to be some blood. You gotta be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. Oh, nice elbow from the top. That'll force him to move his head. Elbows landing now. Neil Kelly. Oh, he knees the body here inside mount. Nicely played. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, significant swelling now in and around that left eye. Might even be starting to close. Elbow from the top now by Frost. Oh, back to the well with that elbow. That one landed well. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Frost, Joe. And Ganu got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Gets the elbow up into the target. series of elbows by him there. It's almost like he's ambidextrous when it comes to throwing these elbows. There is no strike in fighting that can really damage your opponent as much as an elbow. He understands that. He's throwing them over and over again. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. It is the fifth and final round. Big head kick land. Effective punch there by the predator, Francis Ngannis. Pretty good right hand. Oh, double jab there by Ngannis. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, his opponent's still standing. I mean, I, I, this guy's chin is made of granite in order to take a punch like that from Francis Ngannou. One of the most powerful guys I've ever seen step into the UFC octagon. Good punch, Lance. Ross has got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Good straight hand there by Francis and got it. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Side control now. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Let's go, let's go, finish this, guys, come on. Good series of punches by him there. But now going to the judo throw, and he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase submission. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's on. Frost is going for a choke here. Oh, nice. He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him 
that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Ridley is going to stop this contest at two minutes, one second, but round number five for the winner by submission and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iceman. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world.